Under fire, accounting and consulting firm PwC instructed nine partners to obtain permission until the result of an internal investigation of Australian government's secret tax information. Important points PwC is criticised for leaking the secret Australian government information about tax changes for large multinational companies. PwC is under fire because it leaked information of the secret Australian government on tax changes for large multinational companies. The company refused to explain names of other people who have been copied to emails related leaked information. The company refused to explain the names of other people who have been copied emails related leaked information and directed obtain joint leave and PwC will separate the federal government consultancy functions. The company also announced that governance board and presidents of determined risk committee resigned with two independent managers who have no executive duties to be assigned to board of directors. The PwC will also surround a service to an independent executive and governance board and the federal government that will supervise these operations from September. In addition, when the company was completed in September, Ziggy Switkowski committed to fully publish an internal report for PwC. Previously, the firm was only planning to publish a summary and advice of the report, but he changed his mind after listening to our stakeholders. However, Kristen Stubbins, Deputy General Manager Company, continued resist names of all people who are parties to PW related tax information, including Prime Minister, explain names all people. Chris Stubbins became Deputy General Manager of PwC after the previous boss quit after tax scandal. Some of them have an assumption that everyone who has been named after the names must be mixed with a crime. This is wrong, Mrs Stubbins wrote in a clear letter. Based on our ongoing investigation, we believe that the majority of these receivers of these emails are neither responsible for any confidentiality or not. We have done the appropriate action against everyone who has violated privacy or failed in leadership duties and will continue to do so. Mrs. Stubbins also reiterated that the company's multinational corporate customers do not know anything about the violation of confidential information. Mrs. Stubbins, our customers did not mix any crime and no secret information was used to ensure that customers pay less tax, he said. However, at beginning of open letter, CEO Deputy admitted that company was aggressive in marketing corporate tax services at that time. At the time of this, there was an aggressive marketing culture in our tax business, he said. For a while, this aggressive urge to behavior and growth penetrated certain parts of our leadership and allowed profit to prevent the purpose. Our management process failed to determine and control it. Ms. Stubbins reiterated firm's apology for confidentiality violation, which allows